cyberspace with the interconnectivity that it has is extremely useful and promising, especially for peace time in terms of uh, the increased communication and for the development of, of economy and the uh, social world as well. However, the same interconnectivity in uh, war times makes it extremely vulnerable because everything can be targeted from anywhere in the world. It is believed that um, attacks against chemical plants or nuclear weapons, sorry, nuclear plants or uh, transportation system are technically possible and they would have huge consequences for the civilian population. К сожалению, вот это пространство, кибер, которое условно называется киберпространством или виртуальным пространством, там э, правовые нормы э, ну, не действуют в той степени, в какой бы хотелось бы уже сегодня. Да, очень много из действий, которые затрагивают интересы отдельных людей, государств, обществ, они, к сожалению, не урегулированы. И здесь э, государство предпринимает усилия внутри э, своих стран, своих правовых систем. Но на международном э, уровне пока что, к сожалению, это очень сложно установить. Отсюда тот разноголосие сомнений. There is a diversity of, of perspectives on the problem. There are people who have lots of technology and people who don't. There are people who have certain political views and people who don't. And trying to mesh all of those and to think that we will all come up with a unified approach to this is probably unlikely. But that doesn't mean that we can't all work together to try and solve the problem. There are some core principles that we all agree on, such as you ought to respect the principles of sovereignty, you ought to respect the rights of individuals. An increasing number of states have recognized that IHL applies to uh, Warfare. On the other hand, that's only the first step because certainly cyber warfare creates novel issues for international humanitarian law. It creates a number of challenges in terms of how to interpret international humanitarian law. In the past, we've seen world wars and terrible experiences bring states to the state table, right? State leaders, where they actually signed new treaties with very specific weapons discussed. Um, but I'm hopeful it'll happen um, because the past has taught us that we'll get agreement. I'm just wondering when that will be. Is it before, which is a good sense, uh, or might it be only after an event happens that then states realize how important it is to get consensus, particularly on the humanitarian aspect? Нам нужно увеличивать количество площадок, на которых могут собираться разные люди с разными взглядами, представляющие разные государства, имеющие разную позицию по данной теме, но одинаково переживающие за то, чтобы и национальная безопасность и международная безопасность не была подорвана. I think that the ICRC in many ways is uh, doing a very important, uh, playing a very important role in cyber warfare. I've worked with a number of people from the ICRC on this issue, and it's it's uh, it's important to have a global uh, organization who can bring people from across the international community together to talk about these key issues.